Hi guys, so today's topic is about base stations. Base stations are cell towers that connect your mobile phone to the mobile network. In mobile networks, base stations can be represented by multiple terminologies like BTS, Node B, E Node B, G Node B, NG, E and B. So it can be a bit complex to understand that. But don't worry, we will cover all of these terminologies in this video. In second generation GSM networks, base stations are referred to as BTS, Base Transceiver Station. In 3G UMTS networks, base stations are called Node B. In 4G LTE networks, base stations are called E Node B or Evolved Node B. And finally, in 5G networks, base stations are called G Node B or Next Generation Node B. Now, in case you are wondering, there is one more terminology called NG E and B next generation E node B, and we will cover that in this video as well. So let's start with BTS, Base Transceiver Station. BTS is also a generic terminology that just refers to base stations in general in mobile networks. For example, the CDMA networks, IS95 networks, also use the terminology BTS to refer to the base stations. When your mobile phone is connected to the mobile network, if it is connected to the second generation GSM networks, it will be connected to the BTS or Base Transceiver Station. But how do you know that you're connected to the GSM network? When you are connected to the GSM network, your mobile phone shows the G or E symbol right next to the signal bar, just like the picture right here. So the BTS in GSM networks is connected to BSC, base station controller. So the BSC is like a boss of all the BTSs in GSM networks and it can manage multiple BTSs in a certain location. GSM networks work on FDMA and TDMA. So it's a combination of frequency division multiple axis and time division multiple axis. And BTS is capable of providing that technology for the radio network interface. In GSM networks, both BTS and BSC are part of BSS base station subsystem. BSS represents the radio network in GSM. Node B is a base station in 3G UMTS networks. UMTS stands for Universal Mobile Telecommunication System, and it is the 3G migration path for GSM networks. Just like GSM networks, where we have a BSC that controls multiple BTSs, in 3G UMTS networks, we have RNC, Radio Network Controller, that controls multiple Node Bs. Node B and RNC are part of the 3G UMTS radio network, which is called UTRAN, U-T-R-A-N. UMTS networks are wideband CDMA based, which is different from GSM, which is FDMA and TDMA based. So Node B is connected to the RNC, which is then connected to the mobile core network in UMTS. RNC is connected to the MSC, Mobile Switching Center, and SGSM, Serving GPR Support Node. MSC takes care of all the circuit switch capabilities like voice calls and SMS. SGSM, on the other hand, takes care of all the data things like mobile internet. Now let's talk about the 4G LTE networks. In 4G LTE networks, the base station is called E node B or Evolved node B. So the Evolved node B or E node B or E N B is basically a very advanced base station which does not require any controller entity. So as you may remember, in GSM networks we have base station controller, BSC, and in 3G UMTS networks we have radio network controller or RNC, so in 4G LTE networks, we don't have any such entity, which means that E node B is capable of not only connecting to your mobile phone, but also managing itself. It does not require any boss entity. LTE networks are based on OFDMA, or Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiple Access. Now it's quite a mouthful, but that's the technology which is used for the radio network interface of LTE. But OFDMA is only used in the downlink for downloads, which means when the mobile network is connecting to your mobile phone, it is using the OFDMA technology. For the uplink, the LTE networks use a technology called SCFDMA, 
single carrier frequency division multiple access. SCFDMA is more power efficient, so it is good for your mobile's battery life. The mobile core network in 4G is called EPC or Evolve Packet Core. EPC connects directly to E node B or ENB. As you may recall, in 3G UMTS networks, the radio network is called UTRON. In 4G LTE networks, the radio network is called EUTRON or Evolved UTRON. In 5G networks, the base stations are called G node B and NG ENB. 5G networks use a technology called NR or New Radio. 5G networks are designed in such a way that they can be deployed in two different ways. They can either be deployed in such a way that they use the 4G LTE core network, EPC, or you can have a full end-to-end -end 5G network, which is called standalone or SA. So if you have a 5G phone and you want to connect to the 5G network, the base station that serves you is G node B or GNB. If your mobile operator decides to launch 5G, there are two options. They can either continue using the 4G LTE core network, Evolve Packet Core, or they can start using the full 5G cloud native core network. If your mobile operator decides to go with the 5G core network, in that case, all the 5G devices will require G node B to connect to the 5G network, and all the 4G devices will require NG E node B to connect to the 4G radio network. NG E node B or NG EMB is a special type of 4G LTE radio network that can talk to the 5G core network. The radio network in 5G is called NG RAN or Next Generation Radio Access Network. Thank you for watching this video. I have written a very comprehensive post on this topic, so if you are interested, there's a link in the description below.